Ever split a dinner bill with friends and realize you're embarrassingly short on cash? Or maybe you need to send a quick birthday gift to a long-distance buddy. That's where Venmo comes in, the popular app that lets you send and receive money with ease. But did you know Venmo also offers a credit card? Intrigued? Hold on a sec. Before you whip out your phone in plastic, there's a crucial question. Is the Venmo credit card a financial superhero or a credit score villain? Let's dive deep and find out. Imagine this. You're scrolling through your social feed, see that hilarious cat video your friend posted, and decide to send them a quick $5 for the laugh. With Venmo credit, it's a breeze. No scrambling for cash or waiting for bank transfers. Just open the app, tap a few buttons, and your friend gets their kitty-loving reward instantly. That's the beauty of Venmo credit. It injects superhero-like convenience into everyday transactions. Splitting a pizza with friends? Roommate forgot their share of the rent again? Venmo credit swoops in to save the day, or rather, your evening slash financial sanity. But Venmo isn't just about splitting bills with buddies. Think of it as a mini credit card tucked inside your Venmo app. That means you can use it for online purchases at any store that accepts Visa credit cards. So, if you find those perfect shoes on sale, but your bank account is feeling a little empty, Venmo credit might be your answer. Now, before you hail Venmo credit as your new financial BFF, here's the not-so-superheroic side. Unlike a traditional credit card that might offer rewards, points, or cashback, Venmo credit comes with a bit of a sting, a 3% fee for every person-to-person -person transaction. That means sending your friend $20 for concert tickets actually costs you $20.60. Not a huge deal for small transactions, but it can add up quickly if you get into the habit of using Venmo credit for everything. Here's the real kryptonite of Venmo credit, the interest rate. It can be much higher than a traditional credit card, sometimes reaching a whopping 25.9%. That APR can turn a simple purchase into a debt monster that grows faster than those vines in your neglected houseplant. The danger? Minimum payments might seem manageable at first, but they only cover a tiny portion of the actual debt. Before you know it, you're stuck in credit card quicksand, sinking deeper with every passing month. So, should you get a Venmo credit card? The answer, like most financial decisions, depends on your spending habits. Here's the cheat sheet. Great for small, occasional transactions between friends, emergencies when you're truly short on cash, online purchases where you know you can pay it off immediately. Not ideal for frequent person-to-person -person payments, the fees add up, everyday purchases where you might carry a balance, that high APR will bite, large purchases that will take months to pay off. If you're someone who can manage credit responsibly and primarily use Venmo credit for small, quick transactions, it can be a convenient tool. But remember, it's not a free pass to spend without consequences. Always pay your balance in full and on time, and avoid using it for anything you can't afford to repay immediately. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.